guys, so this section we're gonna do go over the Telnet library. That's pretty a very useful library if you have some uh, legacy devices and you're using Telnet uh, to reach out to them. I really don't recommend that you guys uh, use Telnet. You already know. I'm pretty sure you should know why. It's uh, in clear text. And in case you have some equipments that are using Telnet, don't use the same uh, credentials for those devices as your SSH devices or use your own Active Directory or LDAP credentials to reach them because like all your credentials is passing through it uh, in clear text. All right. So first we're going to start by importing the library. It's called telnetlib. Okay. Then we're going to specify the IP of the device. So, um, <coughs> so let's not do that. Let's just uh, call it. So telnetlib.telnet. You should give it the, the values in binary. All right. And you specify the port. Okay, so the first thing you connect to the device, it's gonna ask you, like, it's gonna ask you to, for a username. So you set, you specify for the for the uh, telnet session to to wait till it gets the the username uh, prompt. So username. So when I get the username prompt, I uh, please. Uh, so this is. TN read until and then we need to send some information so we need to send the username all right so TN dot right all right so this is here I called it TN you can call it whatever you want just uh, so we're calling the session list so here we want to send like uh, so I'm gonna do it in a different way I'll say uh, Cisco and here I specify so this is a string and I want to decode uh, encode it as ASCII This is the same as uh, sending it in. Oh, so this is actually the binary format. All right. So then we're gonna do just for I'm somewhat lazy. Don't wanna write the whole thing again. Here is we're waiting for the password, and then we are sending it. We're sending the password, and then let's uh, request like for the show run. So, all right. So let's do that. And here first I'm gonna do. Term in length zero because to get all the outputs till the end and then show it on. And we need to do uh, we need to send a new line every time. I forgot this part. So here slash n. And here is, there shouldn't be any spaces. Slash n. Slash n. Slash n. All right. <coughs> so um, then we need. So this is somewhat a bug in the system, like, or I don't want to say a bug, like, it could hang. I have, I was having issues with that. So what you need to do, you need to exit from the session. Then you need to read all, all right? So, so exit slash n slash r. And then here, uh, output equal the n dot read all. And then here, print. Uh, output dot decode ask right so we got the show run from the device uh, the, what I was what I was trying to say like if you don't exit the session this will hang it will not work it will uh, it won't give you any outputs it will just hang what you can do what you, uh, Okay, what you can do is, if you do here, just to, if you want to see what's happening, just do, you can print, so read until it's just uh, sh waiting for this output and assigning it to the variable t, right? So, oh, and we need to close the session. No, this should be behind this, sorry. And it's still gonna hang. Right, so that's why here you need to end the session. So what you can do is, like you said, tn dot um, right exit and or what we can do the other 
so I need to end this process here run again write it all what we can do again so if we don't want to terminate the session from the switch side found this also somewhat useful so you write till exit and here in place of reading all the outputs what you can do is you can do read until exit so here read until exit which we provided here and then we close the session from our end so that will work too somewhat buggy in this way like if you don't um, it will not read the outputs like the read all if the session wasn't terminated at the other end all right <coughs> so I want to go over another example with um, <coughs> the telnet library make it somewhat more interesting all right so I'm gonna keep some of this but I need to I want to replace some stuff okay so all right let's start so first let's do telnet all right and um, get always I like struggle to name my functions get uh, outputs all right and what we're gonna get uh, what we're gonna here provide is the host name uh, username password uh, enable password and uh, show list <coughs> okay so first thing we're gonna copy this and here we just provide the host name and we uh, encode it We're gonna use the port 23. Um, we're gonna use the same thing here. Read until. Right, but we need to replace some stuff. So here, read until here in place. Encode ASCII. We're gonna get the username. Sorry. Remove it from my list. And we need to add here at the end in binary format new line. Right, so this is the password, read until also here password and also send a new line. Okay, so now what we need to do is um, so we need to check if there's an enabled password. So if enable password so if you provide we provide the script in enable password we need to go into uh, the exact mode so if enable password read until so um, sorry. okay and uh, the end dot right the end slash n and uh, okay so we're in enable mode <coughs> oh no we need to re also read until password and read until password then also we need to write enable password and then now we're in exact mode Second thing we need to do here, we need to uh, not write like we did before. We need to do terminal length zero slash n and for i in uh, show list Why am I doing this? Sometimes it's easier to just write it. I dot encode. plus and we're gonna terminate the whole thing by So 
so we're leading everything after exiting we're gonna close the session close the session and then when we're gonna return That will work, alright. So what we did is this is done, this is done, alright. So let's try it. So first we print, then let get outputs. So the host name set is 192.168.22.60. Uh, uh, the username is Cisco. The password is also Cisco. Uh, There's no enable password, and here we're gonna. Uh, the list is show IP. In, sorry, this should be a string. Show IP interface brief. Come on, uh, show. I don't know. Show process memory. And uh, show run. Do you think we're gonna get an error? It's gonna work. Hmm. It actually worked, but it's messed up because here I need to return it dot geekot. Will that work, or I should in a string? I know I forgot if not. It should always be in a string because like the text editor was like directly. Hmm. It worked. All right. So this is a cool way for using the Telnet uh, uh, library. If you want to do something like um, you want to do configuration, it's gonna be like uh, the same concept. You just go into conf t and then perform whatever configuration you want to do. Uh, and like, I really, really don't recommend you guys anybody still that is still using Telnet to still use it. Okay. Uh, see you in the next section.